And right now at six, we have to get to some breaking news out of Southeast D.C. More senseless violence claims the life of yet another young person. This time, police tell us a teenage boy is dead after a shooting. It happened a couple of hours ago, just before four this afternoon. Yeah, we sent our crew to Green and Galen Streets in Anacostia as soon as we heard about this. Our Casey Nolan joins us live tonight with more on what police are saying about this. What happened, Casey? Well, uh, limited information, I can tell you, but what we do know so far it's painful uh, for some folks here who have showed up and who believe that it is one of their family members, this teenager, who may have been shot and killed in the street behind me, according to police. I'll give you a look. It's just up one block and to the right. That's Green Street. Just around there is where police say this happened. We have a little uh, footage we can show you of the scene from earlier as well. Police tell us it was around 345 or so that they got a sh call for multiple gunshots. And when they got here, they found, again, what they're saying is a teenager suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Unfortunately, they tell us that teenager did not survive. About the only identifying information they're giving us is that they say he is an older teen, but they're not being more specific than that at this time. In fact, that's a point of frustration for some of the folks who've shown up. They're trying to find out more, again, what they believe is a family member. We also talked to a woman here in the neighborhood who works at a nonprofit here just around the corner. She told us this is obviously a painful day for the family, but then for the whole community as well. This is somebody who we've probably seen grow up. I'm not sure who it is yet, but um, another mother, you know, gets the call that, or, or, or a loved one or guardian gets the call that their child is deceased. And from what I'm hearing, it's a juvenile. So, you know, this is just a, it's a sad, this is sad for our community. By our count, this is the 198th homicide in D.C. this year. Leslie and Zoe, we will stay here and bring you more information as we get it.